Hey everybody, thank you for joining in tonight. Tonight we're going to take a look at the IPv8 that I got in from Pioneer from you through healthcabin.net. You can find IPv uh, on the web at www.ipvtechnology.com. I'll leave their links down below. You can also find it, like I said, that through healthcabin.net, www.healthcabin.net.net. Their link will be down below for that, their Facebook and their Instagram. Definitely go check it out. My contact over there was James. Thank you, James, for sending this over for review. Um, this retails over on their website for $74.90. They have it. They come in uh, the silver, and they also have it in the black over there. I know I've seen it over there. Uh, some other places, they have like a red and black crackle finish onto it. Another nice one. A lot of improvements on this one here over the 6X, the original 6X, um, with the reverse polarity, um, the battery door. I like this little, uh, I call it, I call it sweater. Um, it's supposed to be a leather, cowhide leather. It kind of feels like suede to me. So I call it sweater. My own word. It's a Tommyism. We'll call it a Tommyism. But anyways, um, really the best way to take a look at this thing here is let's just dive down close. All right, so here we are down below here, and this is the way it comes in here. It tells you it says IPv8 onto it, and then here it shows you that it's got, we'll get it to focus into here. It says OLED screen display, mini USB charger. This is for charging. Um, I could not find anywhere on there that it would says that it has firmware upgradable as of right now. And then it says it's dual 18650 battery here. On here it says box mod kit. Um, it's a box mod. Uh, here's your Pioneer for, for You logo. Here has your uh, the little warnings. And again here. On the back side here, it tells you that it's from the IPV technology. There's their phone number, their website. Caution, this is not a toy. And made in China. So let's open this up here. And the first thing you get is your warranty card that you would fill out in the different comments and here's the two different places I guess you would use for your warranty for the IPV uh, which is KMG and smoke vape and warranty coverages limited coverages and your important notices are all onto there um, next is your user manual which is pretty illustrated uh, well written I believe um, tells you here the standard packaging. It tells you that it comes with the USB, uh, the IPv8, the USB user manual, and then your different things that come with it. Here's your specifications on to here, which we'll go over when we take it out. Your main features, how to operate, tells you all the different buttons, what they do, configurations, and so on. On the back side, it continues on. Of course, I can't hold it because it must be just too heavy. Uh, and again, it just and then tells you about the SX Pure in the Jewel mode, how to enjoy the pure flavor of wattage, adjusting wattages, how to unlock and lock, which is a nice feature that the uh, SX uh, the 6XX 6X did not have. And there's some tips and then the warranty. So let's get that out of the way. Here's your device. Let's pop that out. Comes in a nice bag to protect it you get your certification that it's been inspected it's tight in there and underneath it just got your USB charging so let's get all that out of the way Let's take a look at what we're all here for. All right, here's your mod here, and uh, you look at it, and it's got a nice 510 gold plated, spring loaded 510. Here's your button configuration. Let's go over it here. This is made out of a zinc alloy, and it looks like it's three different pieces. You got this one, this one here, and they're calling this a cowhide leather. Um, feels more like suede, so we'll call it sweather. Um, I've actually been using this here. 
I've had e-juice all over my hands. It doesn't seem to stain, but there is one issue that I did notice, and this might be just because this was sent to me. Um, this side over here, you see the corner sticks up a little bit. Eh. And then on this side here, it fits relatively nice and flush. Um, I don't carry it in my pocket, so I'm not too concerned about it, but some people might have an issue with that. Um, it's going to be very similar to your... Um, 6x if you're if you already had a 6x the screen and all the uh, adjustments are going to be very familiar onto it with your buttons and everything there's no rattle so that's we'll take another comparison to that afterward here um let's see that what else there like i said this is a stainless steel 510 connection it has the large oled screen it takes two sixty uh, 18650 batteries and it's got that same battery door as the IPv6X and the 400, uh, yeah, the IPv400. Um, this one seems to be a little bit more tighter as you can hear it snap into place. And again, it's uh, one other thing that they have fixed onto this that the 6X had an issue with, but I know those three versions of the 6X, but the first versions had the problem with the uh, reverse polarity. We'll throw some batteries in and I'll show you that it does work. Um, this is a micro USB direct charging so you can charge this and that's the way I have been charging it and it does balance charging very well onto it. Um, and of course if you do have an external charger that's really the best way to go. But this one they do say you can use onboard charging which is a big plus. This has the SX330F8 chip from Yee into the here. Um, it takes uh, your stainless steel, your nickel, titanium, and your regular direct, uh, your TCR modes onto it. It is 87.9 from top to bottom. It is 28 millimeters going across from the center to here, but it's actually only 24.9 at the top here because of the way that chamfer is on there. So if you put anything over a 25 millimeter onto here, it's going to look kind of silly onto it. I don't have a 25 millimeter uh, atomizer over here. But as long as you keep it under 25 millimeters, you'll look good onto it. And it is 42 millimeters going across this way. This way is 147 grams without batteries, 238 grams with the battery. And like I said at the beginning, this does come in three different colors. You got the black version, they have the silver version, and then I did see one that has like a red and black crackle um, bit onto it. Very, very cool. Your input voltage is 6.4 to 9 volt output. Output voltage is a 1 volt to 7 volt. Um, your power range goes from 7 watts to 230. Your temperature range will go 100 uh, Celsius to 300 Celsius, 212 Fahrenheit to 572 Fahrenheit. Your joules, 10 joules to 120 joules. And again, look at joules like your wattages, but it's for temp mode. So basically it's the same thing. If you were going to run it at like 60 watts, run it right around 60 joules. It'll balance about the same. Um, your power mode resistance, you can go from 0 0.15 ohm all the way up to 3 ohm. And your temperature joules slash, slash joules resistant range will go from 0 0.5 ohms to 1.5 ohms. This does also has the SX Pure just like the um, 6X. But if you uh, you can use the resistant, code for, uh, resistant range from that is 0 0.4 ohms all the way up to 0 0.6 ohms. So... Um, first thing, like I said, let's take a look at is the battery. Like I said, let's, when you take a look at it here, it tells you that it's positive, negative. So let's throw a set of, I got a set of some 25 R's here. And it tells you that you, this would be the proper way to do it. It tells you here, positive and negative, just the way it shows here. And that just goes right on, and then it tells you nice and pretty IPv8, and it's going to be five clicks to turn on. It does have a long pause, that's why I was holding it onto there. And then to shut it off, the same thing one, two, three, four, five. And like I said, it's going to look familiar to your IPv6X. And then let's pop these out.
and now it's telling me positive should be up let's put the positive down and the same thing here let's put the negative up which is total opposite of that let's close the door let's see what happens nothing nothing happens doesn't even want to close the right way so that's a plus in itself there it's in now it won't even turn on so very very cool so let's take those out put them in the right way again and now we're back to your IPv8 so again like I said it's five clicks on five clicks off just like on the rest of them here's your onboard charging here which is nice so it can stand up um, get into the modes one two three this has a lock and unlock it tells you that right now it tells you that it's locked click it three times one two three now it's unlocked one two three we'll lock it one two three so that's a nice little change from the IPv6X you can lock your modes and now it's locked it won't do nothing it won't fire no nothing so there you go so now let's take a look at the screen here and focus on the sun has your wattage and that will go into one increment 0.1 increments as you go all the way up but once you get over I believe it is a hundred watts it goes into one watt so and this will go all the way up to 230 and all the way down to and it goes it's kind of that's super fast but it goes down to 10 watts I know it said 7 watts but it actually only goes down to 10 watts the rest of your screen shows your voltage your ohms and it has a puff counter which is unnecessary for me and then it has your battery indicator on the far side over here I could not figure out how to flip the screen if it was available it doesn't matter to me I like this this placement of the screen right where it's at um, again like I said this is very comfortable in your hand if you're holding it this way this way if you're a finger firer just very very comfortable in your hand onto that if you compare it to like I said the, here's the IPv 400 and they're basically the same height maybe the 400 might be a little, just a hair taller but they're basically about the same width I love the center location of the 510 um, like I said they're both about the same width onto it compare it to the 6x and again your button placement your screen placement it's all going to be very familiar to you if you already have the 6x this is going to be very familiar this is just a super mode compared to this one <laughs> um, so while we got the batteries into it why don't we throw an atomizer onto it and actually we're gonna go we'll use my UL Crown V2 which has a stainless steel coil into it so let's get into just the menu so click this here five uh, click this five times one two three all right system on if I hit the up button it's gonna shut it off mode power and let's see if I can get it closer for you and system on if I hit this it's gonna shut it off so let's go to your mode power there's your joules so once you get into there you hit that and then it's gonna ask if you want Fahrenheit or Celsius we'll go into Fahrenheit and and then it tells you what your temperature I, have, I ran it all the way up to the 572 and this will go all the way down to 212 it should stop at
and it does and that's where it'll stay until you it won't round robin into the Celsius and easily run mine around 420 All right, so now that you found that they have your manual TCR nickel 200 titanium stainless steel 316 and then your SX pure but manual TCR if we wanted to go into there it should be already all set up yes I have it set up I was just playing around with it for uh, stainless steel 316 which is 0 0.00092 if I wanted to change it up or down 93 94 95 and then so on this way so we're at 92 let's hit it into there and now it tells you it's your this is not going to do anything it just tells you that what version it is for your ee it won't change anything so let's go into there exit on and now we're into there um jewel mode like i said if you were to run this if you normally run, let's say, 60 watts, put it at 60 joules. That works for me, and in my mind, that's where it works very well. And, of course, it's just this 60 joules, 0.25, and you should be all set, set resistant. You hold it down to, up in the top, and then you're locking your resistant. And then you're ready to fire onto it. Works very, very well. Um, I've had no issues, Ron. Uh, let's throw this twisted messes onto here. As you can see, it's pretty well juiced up still. Now let's see what it'll fire off here. Is it still at the 60 joules? It's firing, it's firing. And then it tells you no liquid. So it's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. Very, very cool. <clears throat> Why don't we take this back up to the top here. And uh, let me throw a little juice onto here. I'm going to use some of this um, Elite by TVC real good stuff here you guys are a big strawberry fan go get some of that that's for sure uh, hang on let me throw some juice onto here and then we're going to take it up to the top all right so again we took a look at the uh, new IPv8 that I got in from uh, Pioneer from you through uh, Health Cabin again thank you very much for sending this over again my contact over at Health Cabin is James I'll leave his information down below and I will leave the links where you can go and get this over at Health Cabin. They do retail this for $74.90. And like I said, they only show that they had the black and the silver over there. And I know I've seen somewhere else that they have one that has the red crackle onto it. That one's really nice looking also. But um, my opinions on this here, I'm loving this here. I mean, it's comfortable in your hand. It's It fires instantly. As soon as you hit that, it's firing. As soon as you hit it, it fires. Um, it's, they fixed the reverse polarity, a big plus. Um, they fixed the door issue. I know like on my IPv400, it's a lot of times I go to pick it up, the batteries would fall out. Um, they fixed all those issues. Again, kudos to all of that. All their links will be down below for that, for Health Cabin. All those will be down below. Um, would I recommend it? Absolutely. Um, I love the whole, I, I'm a big IPv fan. Um, I have a, I have the IPv2, uh, D2, I got the D3, I got the 4, the LI. Um, I did have the 5, but I gave that to my neighbor to get him off in stinkies. And then you see I got the 400, I got the 6X, and I got this one here. I'm, I'm a big fan of the IPv family in itself i know there's a lot of people that might not be i am um so overall i would definitely recommend this here and i would say definitely go check it out for sure that's going to do it for tonight folks so again until the next time
keep vaping.